Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with the new Ruger American Competition model versus the Canik TP9 SFX. The Ruger was released a couple weeks ago. The Canik's been around for three years, but when I introduced the American Competition, many people requested this comparison review and so we're going after it today. Both have very attractive MSRP prices. The Canik is $555. The American is $579. Now, for those who understand the prices, the average prices on competition models, both of those are incredible prices. Let's see what comes in the case. Here's the Canic case. Canic, known for offering a lot, does come with a holster, bore brush, paperwork, speed loader, a back strap. Four mounting plates for optics, an additional magazine, and this little case here has additional magazine posts or buttons of different heights or whatever. It's kind of interesting, uh, along with some additional fiber optic pieces for the front sight. The American competition model does not come with as much, but what it does have are two grip modules all right so you can custom fit the shooter's hand size using these grip modules the one that came and in the case you know fits my average size hands really well i find no need to switch those out but i think both these guns are incredible bargains and let's do a little side by side here all right there is a size difference the canic has a 5.2 inch barrel the american has a five inch barrel and if we look at it from this perspective we can see that the canic has a longer grip the reason being is that they have 20 round magazines these are made by mechgar does have a plus two base plate does come with two magazines the american competition also comes with two magazines but they are 17 round mags all right so we're looking at you know an additional three rounds advantage canic and advantage canic with what it's offered or what what is offered in the case let's start with the american competition nice gritty texture on the grip i like the ergos on the competition a little better it just it feels really nice and i i feel like those modules make a difference so i'm going i'm giving the ruger the ergo advantage it's also ambidextrous so i'm not a lefty but those who are would definitely say you know with the slide stop and the mag release on both sides advantage ruger with that it does uh, come with this plate that can be removed and it is drilled and tapped to fit i think six different red dots and the rear sight does not have to be removed to do that so advantage ruger on that it's adjustable does have a sight hole indicator serrated top of the slide green fiber optic front sight lightning cuts in the slide a pick rail and a nice overall feel and well-balanced pistol now let's take a look at the canic tp9 sfx additional back strap already talked about that not a bad you know not a bad uh ergonomic feel to it i just like the ruger a little bit more gray tungsten slide looks beautiful this plate comes off mounting plates in the case uh, rear sight has to come off with it it does have lightning cuts much like the ruger red fiber optic front sight serrated rears adjustable striker fire indicator all right pick rail but i like the way this trigger guard comes like to 90 degrees maybe a little more here it just is rounded off more i think there's enough space in each to add fingers with gloves but where canic is going to shine is the trigger pull and that is measuring right at four pounds even but a very short reset check that out now with the american competition i'm measuring that five and a half pounds all right which is similar with the other comp or the um, american pistols five and a half pounds so you're looking at a shorter reset, a lighter trigger pull, Advantage TP9 SFX. One thing that I like on the Ruger, I like that green fiber optic front sight, but it is larger. 
so it stands out more to me with the serrated black rear sights let's go ahead and disassemble the pistols we'll see that the TP9 SFX has a captured recoil spring and guide rod 5.2 inch barrel and here we'll lock the slide back drop that lever no need to pull the trigger and here we have a captured recoil spring and a 5 inch barrel no great advantage that I can tell as far as the disassemble process is concerned let's go ahead and get these guns on the scale unloaded weight for the American competition 34 and a quarter ounces we have a loaded mag here 17 rounds and it's weighing in at 41 and 3 8 ounces here we have an unloaded TP9 SFX quite a bit lighter 29 and 7 8 ounce so approximately 30 ounces but to be fair I put 17 rounds in this not 20 and we're looking at 37 ounces so approximately four ounces lighter with the TP9 SFX does that make a difference with a competition gun I don't think so but there again I'm not a great competition person so they will decide but what I have to do now is take these out to the range and shoot them side by side so let me go ahead and do that and we'll get another closer look at these two pistols At this time in the review, I put myself in the hot seat and choose one if I could only choose one. Both of these are amazing shooters. They're priced right, they function extremely well, and I am glad I had a chance to get out here and shoot them side by side. I could talk about the country it was produced and the customer service, both of those would benefit Ruger, but for this review, I'm strictly sticking with the features and the shooting impressions, and given that, I really enjoy the four pound trigger with the Canik TP9 SFX. So if I had to choose one, this would be my choice. I think both of them are incredible competition handguns. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.